Welcome back to Switch Stars, my name's Luke, and 2022 has been a pretty decent year for the Switch, with the likes of Splatoon 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and Persona 5 Royal, and of course the new Pokemon game, but 2023 is shaping up to be just as solid, with some awesome new titles coming to the platform and some amazing ports, and while there is still a little bit of speculation and dates could slip, Today on the channel we're taking a look at my top 10 most anticipated titles set to be released in 2023 and at the end of the video there'll also be a showcase of 30 other titles we believe will also be coming next year. So drop a like, subscribe for more Nintendo Switch related content and let's get started. So we're kicking things off with an obvious one, that being Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, aka The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And while the first game was a phenomenal hit, unfortunately I really just couldn't get into it, mainly due to the breakable weapons. There's still some uncertainty around whether or not the second game will feature the same controversial game design, but what is without question is that Tears of the Kingdom is top of many people's lists, and while we still have very few details of what it has in store for us, we know that its world will be even bigger, giving us free roam of both Hyrule's land and skies. We'll also see the return of the Rune abilities, though maybe not in the usual sense, with the E3 and Nintendo Direct trailers showcasing what appear to be some kind of time and space manipulation. And we also got a glimpse of some huge golem-like creatures rising from the ground. But whatever the game has in store for us, it's sure to be a royal treat. Now, despite the ongoing controversy and JK Rowling bashing that's going on, Hogwarts Legacy is undoubtedly one of the biggest releases of 2023, and if all goes to plan it's set to drop on the 25th of July. Unlike the LEGO games and the original PS1 series with its blobfish looking Hagrid character, Hogwarts Legacy stands completely aside from the Harry Potter books and instead makes you the main star, with you playing as a student of Hogwarts who apparently holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. The scale of this one is breathtaking though, giving you an open world to freely explore, including Hogwarts, Hogsmeade and the Forbidden Forest, and as is tradition, you'll be sorted into your rightful house and undertake your duties as a student, attending lessons, learning the wizarding ways and forging your future as a fledgling witch or wizard. But many dangers await you, and a new and dangerous foe threatens both you and the wizarding world, so be prepared to do plenty of swishing and flicking. Now our next title started its life as a DLC package but quickly grew to be an entire game, and Hollow Knight Silksong is still shrouded in mystery as to its exact release date and the finer details on its content, but fans of the original are still holding out hope for this one to launch in 2023. Highly acclaimed though and praised as being one of the greatest action platformers and metroidvanias of this generation, with some incredibly tight combat mechanics, fantastic world building and a massive interconnected world to explore, the first game has set the bar sky high for its sequel, but the good folk at Team Cherry have proved that they know what they're doing. Silk Song though is set to feature a new protagonist, that being Hornet, Princess Protector of Hollow Nest, who after being captured finds herself in an unfamiliar kingdom. Here she must ascend to the kingdom's highest peak, battling away through foes to uncover the mystery behind her abduction, and alongside a cast of over 150 new enemies to battle, we'll also get a ton of new abilities, new weapons to craft and all new hunts to partake in. So this is definitely one to watch, and here's to hoping for a 2023 release window. Now, the Pikmin games have long been a fan favourite ever since their initial launch on the GameCube way back in 2001, and the Nintendo Switch saw a part of the third instalment back in 2020, but 2023 promises the release of Pikmin 4. 
As with many of the games on our list though, Nintendo are keeping pretty tight-lipped about its features, giving us nothing but a 30 second trailer in September's Nintendo Direct. But going by the previous games, we can expect a familiar formula when it comes to the real-time strategy elements, as we heard around hordes of Pikmin like Lost Sheep, utilising them to complete objectives and do our bidding. These games have always been a great casual play and a lot of fun though, and hopefully this new entry will bring more of the same, as well as a few new features for us to enjoy. Now, the words Jet Set Radio may not mean much to some people, but back in the early noughties, it was one of the games to have if you owned a Sega Dreamcast. And now, 23 years on, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is set to resurrect the rail-grinding, graffiti-spraying authority flaunt in Stylathon in all its cel-shaded glory. Now, this one is not exactly a sequel to the original games, but it's about as near to it as we're gonna get. And as with its influences, this one has you exploring a futuristic metropolis, facing off against the cops and leaving your tag, as you utilise skateboards, boost packs and wall runs to chain combos, rack up your score and graffiti your way to glory. As stylish as ever with some cel shaded visuals and an expectedly phenomenal soundtrack, this one is set to be a real hit of nostalgia but time will only tell whether it manages to top its forefathers. Now, so far as ports go in 2023, the Switch is set to receive a fair few decent ones, but of all of them, the Braid Anniversary Edition has to be the one I'm most excited for. And if you haven't heard of Braid, it comes to us from Jonathan Blow. The same Jonathan Blow who brought us the phenomenal puzzle game known as The Witness. And while Braid doesn't quite have the scope of that masterpiece, it's still an incredible piece of work and an extremely inventive puzzle game in its own right. Braid sees you playing as Tim though, just a dude on a quest to save a princess from a monster. But Tim or you the player have time manipulating powers which allow you to rewind or fast forward time. And using these alongside some simple platforming mechanics, you must then solve puzzles and collect jigsaw pieces. The concept doesn't sound like much, but believe me when I say you're in for a real treat with this one, and it's a definite must play for any fan of puzzle games. So as any Final Fantasy fan can attest to, although the quality of the gameplay and the storylines of the series can vary from entry to entry, one thing that remains steadfast and overall outstanding is the soundtracks, and I'd argue that the music in many of the games is what makes them so memorable. Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line may have a bit of a naff title, but it stands as a homage to the game's soundtracks, packing in over 350 songs from across the entire series, and it is of course a rhythm game which may not be everyone's cup of tea, but Theatre Rhythm will have you working your way from song to song, tapping it out as a team of iconic Final Fantasy characters beat on Cactus, Bombs and Marlboros, as well as some of the series' biggest baddies. And I for one am a huge fan of the genre, and as you've probably gathered, a huge Final Fantasy fan, so it's a win-win from my perspective. And it's simple stuff, but if like me you love the tunes, then you no doubt as stoked as I am for this one. So Oxenfree was one of my favourite games of 2016, and Oxenfree 2 looks set to follow on from where the previous game left off, taking place 5 years after the events of the original game. And if you've never played this one, it was essentially a story driven adventure game and supernatural thriller in which 5 friends discover some unusual radio signals whilst partying alone on an island, and decide to go and investigate them. Now, the less said about this one the better, but let's just say they witnessed some very unsettling events, and the game had multiple endings based on your decisions. But Oxenfree 2 sees protagonist Riley returning to her hometown of Kamina to find that the radio signals have once more returned, 
are now causing unusual disturbances in the local area, and a mysterious cult-like group appear to be behind their re-emergence, so accompanied by a friend she then sets off once more to investigate. Like the previous game though, your every decision looks set to have an impact on how events play out, and while you can play this one as a standalone, I highly recommend checking out the first game before Oxenfree 2 releases at some point in 2023. Now of all the games on our list, a 2023 release of The Outer Wilds is probably the most questionable, but we can still hold out hope for this absolute gem of a game to see a port next year. As a fledgling member of the Outer Wilds Venture Space Program, you're tasked with hopping into a tiny and somewhat rickety looking spacecraft and heading out to explore the mysteries of a miniature solar system. The only issue is that the sun goes supernova every 22 minutes, and so you find yourself trapped inside a 22 minute time loop with no way of escaping. But through repeated expeditions to the solar system's bodies, which include binary hourglass planets, a planet whose moon is slowly destroying it, and a stormy water world populated by violent water spouts, you'll slowly unravel the mysteries of the time loop, come to understand how you got trapped in it, and perhaps discover a way to escape it. In my opinion though, The Outer Wild strikes a perfect balance between exploration, puzzle solving and story building, it has a beautiful and somewhat terrifying world for you to discover, and it's by far one of my favourite games of the past decade, and possibly even one of my favourite games of all time. Now, the final game on today's list will definitely be one for all you horror fans out there, as Project Zero Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is set to release on the 9th of March, and the story with this one sees a group of schoolgirls returning to an island on which they were held captive to seek out the truth about why they were held there, and hopefully recover from the amnesia that they're experiencing. Giving you nothing but an old camera with which to defend yourself from terrifying spiritual presences, the ingenious thing about the Fatal Frame series is that you literally have to face your fears, snapping pictures of the ghosts to damage them, and in order to score a fatal hit on them, you have to wait until they're right up in your face, which often occurs after they've vanished and reappear to lunge at you, so every encounter has the potential to be a jump scare. This fourth game though is a part of the 2008 Wii title and is cited as being the best selling title in the series, and while it doesn't stray too far from the original formula, the Wii version was only actually released in Japan, so this remaster will hopefully not only improve on that version, it'll also be the first time that most of its western audience will get to experience it. And so there you have it, those were my own personal top most anticipated Switch releases of 2023, and I'm sure that most of you watching will have your own lists written up, containing a bunch of games that I didn't mention today, so feel free to share your own top 10s with me down in the comments section below. Hopefully though you found something today to look forward to, so if you enjoyed this list drop a like, and if you're a new viewer to the channel, consider subscribing, as I tend to cover off the more obscure and lesser known titles on the Switch, and also try to steer people clear of the shams and scams which plague the Switch eShop. With that said though, I hope you've had a great Christmas and have a happy new year, enjoy the rest of the showcase, and as always, thanks once again for watching, take care of yourselves, and game on.